everyone, Josh Paul here with Kick Grass Lawn. I'm just going to do a quick update on what's going on. So we are now into the summer months. The heat's here. We're in the 80s right now here in Louisville, Kentucky. We've already had some 90s. It's, it's middle of June. We're not even into the official start of summer yet. So I'm already noticing some browning in the lawn. Uh, it looks like maybe some hot spots that are not getting properly watered, but I'm going to pay a little bit more attention to it. Uh, I am start. I have already started watering, and with that, I'm trying to get about an inch to inch and a half per week. Uh, I'm still kind of playing around with that at this point. But uh, go out check your lawn at this time of year. Uh, some things you want to keep uh, an eye out for uh, for us cool season grass guys would definitely be a brown spot. I'm sorry, a dollar spot. Uh, dollar spot is a uh, uh, brown spot, uh, about you know the size of a silver dollar. Um, Propiconazole can help fight it. You don't really have to use anything; it'll work its way out. It's a foliar issue, not anything in the roots of the soil. Um, there are some prevention manners out there. Um, I, I know Scotts has some products, but um, really, one of the primary uh, ways that you can. Uh, fight dollar spot in the cool season lawn is with organic matter and just really good soil that feeds the turf. And that really goes for most any disease. I mean, it's not foolproof, but having that really high quality soil that, that the lawn can thrive off of really drives um, the, the resilience of the lawn based on, on that environment, that ecosystem that the soil has created. So just, just something to keep in mind with some of the disease as we're coming in as hot months. Um, there's myth and everything on when to water, but I, I still highly recommend uh, watering earlier in the day. Uh, when you get into the heat of the day, uh, you know, you, you'll hear myths about people saying that, uh, oh, it's gonna scorch your lawn. Well, really, you're, you're losing some money more than anything. So with the, the hotter temperatures, the water's evaporating uh, at a quicker rate, so you're really not getting all that, that water down into the soil that, that you, you put out there. So that's why I usually start mine between 5.30 in the morning and 6, depending on the zone and the schedule I'm running. And I really want to have it done between 9.30 and 10. Um, I don't like watering late in the afternoon at, at, or in the evening, uh, especially as the, the temperatures and humidity and everything are going up. That, that's going to sit in the, the turf and the soil, and, and you really can't invite in some disease in that aspect. Uh, it's also, uh, again, important to, to have sharp blades, make sure that you're following the one-third rule. Um, I'm mowing high right now. I just took mine up to four and a quarter for today. I'm getting ready to go out and mow. Uh, usually between 3.75 and uh, uh, four inches on my average of going up as we're hitting the, the, the warmer temperatures. Um, some other things this time of year, some sod webworm uh, will affect us cool season guys. Um, you may see some moss and some other things out in the yard. I'm just trying to think of things for y'all. But um, most importantly, uh, stay out in your yard. I know it's getting warm, the, the turf's slowing down, you're not growing as fast as it was in the nice spring, but uh, it, now's not the time to abandon your yard. Stay out there, see what's going on, follow, you know, follow your, your plan. Uh, Fourth of July is coming up, it's a pretty hot time for people to uh, apply some applications. Uh, I've got a couple spots where I've got a little more th or thatch, sorry, thatchware. Uh, I thought I did. I'm actually going to use some of uh, the Green County Fertilizers Next products, uh, Dethatch, uh, and kind of a hot spot in some of those areas just to see if I can uh, help start break it, breaking some of that up. Um, other than that, we're getting close to 4th of July, so um, the, the summer months are definitely upon us. Now is the time to be uh, resilient uh, on your, your lawn. I'm going to be investing in some hydrotain. I've never used the hydrotain before for good effects. I'm gonna kind of test it out and see how the lawn goes. I had some very high water bills last year towards the, the late summer when we had uh, unprecedented heat way in, uh, well into October. Uh, still had some 90 degree days here in, in Louisville. Um, so those are just some of the things uh, happening right now. Wanted to just take a few minutes to talk to you all about that. Um, and I'll talk to you all soon.